Hello students, today we are going to see a short animated movie on the last lesson written by a French writer, Alphonse Daudet. This story is a story of change seen through the eyes of a little boy, Franz. The story also depicts the stoicism of one teacher, M. Hamel, as he and the people of Alsace-Lorraine deal with losing a part of their identity. The setting of this story is Alsace-Lorraine, which is a part of Europe between France and Prussia. The French and the Prussians have fought over this territory many times in history. This story arises at that place following one of the many savage wars that occurred. In 1870, the Prussian army under Bismarck attacked and captured parts of Alsace and Lorraine. The story begins with Franz unwillingly going to school. He's late and several thoughts come to his mind. He has not prepared his lesson on the use of participles and therefore dreads M. Hamel's ruler. The weather outside is warm and beautiful. The birds are chirping at the edge of the woods. But he overcomes his temptations and rushes to school as he is already late. At the town hall, he watches a crowd near the bulletin board and Franz wonders, what can be the matter now? Since all the latest information regarding the lost battles were put up at the bulletin board. The blacksmith watcher who watches Franz rushing to school tells him, don't go so fast, Bob. You'll get to school in plenty of time. Franz thinks Watcher is making fun of him as he's already late and therefore quickens his steps to school. Usually, there was great bustle in the school. Franz had thought that taking advantage of the bustle, he would very quietly enter into the classroom without being noticed. But this is not possible. The school is as quiet as a Sunday. There is no rapping of ruler on the table or children reciting in unison. Franz has no choice. He has to enter into the classroom in front of all the students. Surprisingly, M. Hamel is not at all angry with him. He kindly tells him, Go to your place quickly, little Franz. We were beginning without you. Franz notices that M. Hamel is dressed in his best dress, those that he wore on inspection and prize days, and that at the back of the room villagers were sitting quietly, such as the old hawser, former mayor and the former postmaster. Then M. Hamel starts speaking in a grave and gentle tone. My children, this is the last lesson I shall give you. The order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. The new master comes tomorrow. This is your last lesson. This comes as a shock to Franz. Things become clear to him. Why the crowd had gathered at the town hall. Why M. Hamel was dressed in his best dress and why the villagers were sitting at the back benches. He realizes that the villagers have come there to pay respect to M. Hamel and his 40 years of service, to pay respect to their language and to their country that was no longer theirs. Franz is shocked that M. Hamel is going to deliver his last lesson. He says, my last French lesson? Why? I hardly knew how to write. I should never learn any more. The books that were a burden to him now seem to be his friends. As Franz ponders over all this, M. Hamel asks him to recite the rules of participles, but he is unable to. Then M. Hamel says, I won't scold you, little Franz. 
see how it is. Every day we say to ourselves, I have plenty of time. I'll learn it by tomorrow. Ah, that's the great trouble with Alsace. She puts off learning till tomorrow. M. Hamel reminds the students that the Germans would laugh at them by saying, What kind of a Frenchman are you when you can neither speak nor write your own language? M. Hamel also blames the parents for not sending their children to school but putting them to work on a farm or at the mills. He also blames himself for asking the students to water the flowers. And when he went fishing, he gave them a holiday. M. Hamel then goes on to talk about the French language, that it's the most beautiful language in the world, the clearest and the most logical, that we must guard it among us and never forget it, because when a people are enslaved, as long as they hold fast to their language, it is as if they had the key to their prison. Franz could see that M. Hamel was trembling with emotion while speaking. M. Hamel teaches the students grammar, writing and history. Franz is surprised that he can understand everything taught very clearly. He is also surprised that M. Hamel has explained everything so clearly and so patiently. And then, as the church clock strikes twelve, M. Hamill turns pale. He understands it's time to leave now. He tries to say, My friends, I, I, but he cannot go on. He takes a piece of chalk and writes on the blackboard, Vive la France, that is, long live France. And then, without a word, he gestures to the class, School is dismissed. You may go.